Hi there, my name is Brent Harris and I am a personal wellness coach. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you've never heard of me or seen me or met me before, uh, which is totally fine. Uh, however, if you are watching this, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make an assumption about you, which is that you are, you see in yourself a lot of potential. And by that, I mean, you know, you either see like potential in yourself or you see potential in your life in the sense that in your life, you're operating in a situation which I would assume is okay. Like it's good. It's tolerable. It's functional. I get you can make it, you know, day by day, week by week. And uh, there's some enjoyment in there, hopefully, and some good things, some good blessings. But also at the same time, you you know that it's possible for there to be more. You know that it's possible for, like, you just see yourself playing at a higher level. So you see yourself perhaps, um, you know, starting a business, running a business, um, producing more art, um, you know, putting more out there. Uh, meeting more people, perhaps uh, making a change in your relationship. You just, you know, you, you see in the most protected area of your imagination that, you know, things could be much better and much bigger and you could be doing much more. And if that's you, if that's your situation, then this video is for you because what this video is, it's a training of three major principles that I put together for the purpose of bridging the gap between A and B, between where you are and where you see yourself going. Uh, I've been holding at this point hundreds of sessions, one-on-one -on -one private sessions with people where we go, we talk about exactly that disparity between how things are and how things possibly could be and what's involved in bridging that gap. And the thing is, is that it's usually a very simple matter. It's not very complicated bridging that gap. But, um, but there is a certain orientation of your mind and of your action that, that is necessary in order to make it happen in the, with the least amount of trouble and the least amount of effort, um, even though there typically is some effort involved. And so in this video, I'm going to offer you these three principles that if you're to listen to them and take them and really take this as seriously as you can and really apply these then I really believe that this will be a turning point for you. I really see your life turning into a new chapter this way with just these three principles alone. And uh, so I'm going to share them with you presently. So you'll see me referencing. I have some notes here. So, so number one, most importantly, is uh, I want you to know that it's doable. So if you... If you in your imagination, especially if you, there's a lot of people out there who have ideas that they've been carrying for a long time, uh, in some cases, decades, where it's like they feel like, OK, you know, once I get around to this, once I accomplish that, once I accomplish this, eventually I'm going to get to a point where I can blank. And then they, you know, then they start discussing some really like typically a very cool thing that they intend to get around to. So it could be you know, a book that they intend to write or some music that they want to make or or something along these lines or some sort of community service that they want to get involved in. And if you were to, if you're not sure about what your potential is as you're listening to me, this can be something you can ask yourself. You can ask, what do I intend to get around to once I've completed just about everything? And when you ask that question, the answer really emerges. And you perhaps, perhaps the answer is already readily available there. So the reason why I'm starting with this one principle, it's doable, is because it's the sense of doubt that we have about it is what confounds and slows down and sabotages the process. There's a lot of people out there who they, they'll make these attempts to, to become the better versions of themselves that they see in their imagination, and they'll do it but they'll make it like say like 10 steps you know towards the goal and then they're like oh no no this is impossible this is too hard i can't do it and this this sort of like doubting self-negating inner monologue starts coming in and they start erasing the process and coming back to square one and then usually having a very extended period of downtime before ever attempting it again and so and so i want you to know that it's doable um, in another sense I want you to know it's doable in the sense that you have all the resources that you need in order to make this happen, and that includes time. 
I mean, I, I come from a place, I, I may speak a little bit about myself later, but I, I come from a place of having been burdened with a lot of expectations that I have of myself and an acute sense of time running out. It's like, oh shit, that's the day gone. Oh shit, that's the week gone. That's the month. That's the year. Even decades can seem to pass that way where it's like, you know, time is just moving way too quickly and there's too much that I intend to accomplish and I'm afraid that there's not enough time to do it all. And I want you to know that there is time to do it all. Because even, even, even though from one perspective, you have less time than you've ever had before, which is true. Also, what happens is as you get really good at becoming clear and focused and deliberate in your actions, you get good at doing things and accomplishing one thing. It kind of trains you to accomplish other things. And there's a certain exponential growth that, that's involved where you get better and better at accomplishing things. And paradoxically, if you are able and willing to release the sense of urgency that you carry with you about these goals and dreams and ambitions, if you can let all that go and really allow yourself to settle into the process of doing what needs to be done in order to accomplish these goals, you'll find yourself moving at a steadier and quicker pace. And so this is achieved by really internalizing this knowing this this fact as it appears to me that you have all of the time you need to make these things happen and move into deep deep fulfillment as a person so it is doable you can do it you have the ability and where the skill and ability lack you have the ability to get the ability and the and the the frame of time that you're operating with it really tends to be big enough like you really can you have enough time to move and relax and spread out and and gain your footing and and experience a handful of several failed attempts before you really gain that momentum so it's doable that's principle number one i, I would really i really hope that you can don't just accept it on faith, but really play with it and really just play with the possibility that it's true. And I think if you do just that, I think you will discover that it is in fact true. So number two, so, so the first one is kind of, it's kind of, it should feel kind of good and, and open you up. Number two is sort of designed to light the appropriate fire under your ass. And I, I'll, I'll say what I mean. It won't happen on its own. And so on one hand, you know, you really should know that you can do it and that it's in the cards for you. And there is a potential future that's available for you to achieve and accomplish and, and manifest all of your potential. But also, I want you to know that it's not going to happen automatically on its own. It's not a guarantee. And uh, this was a little bit difficult for me to, to come into awareness of, but I believe it's true. In order to manifest your life's potential, you're going to have to do it and you're going to have to grow as a person to be the kind of person that you wish to be. You know, if you're there's a person that you intend to become and and if that's so, then you're, that means you're not that person yet. And so there's a distance to travel and that must be done deliberately and it's not easy and there is effort required. And um, a lot of us, we do our damnedest, myself included, we do our absolute best to avoid really applying ourselves. And that's how you get people um, coming up, you know, trying to find, you know, accountability partners or apps or techniques or books to read where it's like, if I can only just read the right book or get the right app or meet the right person, then I can circumvent the effort part and I can just find myself over there. And I don't think it happens that way. You're going to have to, at the most basic level, apply yourself and engage directly with what you need to do in order to make it happen or else it will not happen. And I think that's true. So, it, so a decision must be made right now i believe and repeatedly that you're it, it will it will be necessary to decide what needs to be done and you're going to have to do it and you're going to have to continue doing it and develop that steadfastness that is required so so a couple points here so the principle is it won't happen on its own 
So what is required is focus and clarity, first of all. You're going to have to be very clear. What is it that you intend to accomplish? Make the list, really write it out and really look at it and really offer as much detail as you can and really make the list complete, as complete as you can so you can look at the whole thing. And, and then after that, there, a plan is going to be required. And, you know, if you're like me, you're going to try to do everything all at once because, you know, because there's so much potential and there's so many things to do. And, and you know you're capable of so much that you're going to attempt to do everything all at once. And, man, you'll save yourself so much trouble if you'd be willing to just choose one thing at a time. Choose one thing that's important enough and really focus on that and bring that into fruition. One or two things maximum. Ideally, like one that's like career, business, money, one that's like physical health and one that's maybe like a hobby, like learning a language or something. And 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 really come up with a system where you're doing the thing that you need to do every day until it's done and then get on to the next thing. So focus and clarity, sustained action, as I was saying it's going to be necessary to apply sustained action. You're going to have to show up to the same workspace at the same time every day. You're going to have to get out of bed on time and really do this and really show up fully every day in order for this to become a reality. And uh, yeah, one thing at a time, I cover that. It's good. All right. So principle one is it, it is doable and you have the resources. Number two is it won't happen on its own and you will have to do it yourself manually. And then number three is this, this is kind of an interesting one. This is a very hard one insight. It's very interesting. You must row with both oars in the water. And so, and so by this, I mean, if, you know, in case you, you don't know, like, like if, you know, if you're in a rowboat and oars like the, the paddle and uh, and like the the analogy goes, like you know, if you if you're paddling one way with one hand and paddling the other way with another hand, what happens is you end up going in circles and not getting anywhere. And so that's what we tend to do, a lot of us, when we make any attempt at manifesting all of our potential. And so. And so in this case, the oars that I'm referring to is the inner adult and the inner child. And so in its basic form, the inner adult is is probably the you that I'm addressing right now that, that thinks logically, thinks rationally, has plans and goals, knows what is required in order to get into the future, uh, and wants to save money, and wants to invest, and you know, wants to you know, eat the right things. And the inner child is an equally valid part of you that's alive and is just as much you as the adult is. But but this part of you is the one that, that goes by instant gratification and lives in the moment and is spontaneous. It's one that sings and dances and watches movies and eats junk food and eats a box of cookies and, you know, and wants to, you know, stay up past midnight and, you know, and wants to, you know, just kind of, you know, really drink in the world. And this is a very important, valuable aspect of yourself, but one that should not usually be allowed, like the steering wheel of the vehicle of your life. And so I'm conscious of the fact that I really want to stay, you know, on, on target here, although it's like, it's just such a whole other, you know, area of study. But, but the very important aspect is if you, if you are too heavy on being the adult, then your life becomes brittle and dry and it's just rote routine and you're just living for the future and it's not fun and you're not enjoying yourself and it's really hard and stressful on your body. If you're aligned too much with your inner child, then it's like it's too much candy and too much booze and drugs and and you're not and it's too much self-denial. You know, you you think like, oh, I'm just going to go with the flow, you know, and like everything's going to turn out okay, But not really, because you just end up kind of fat and just unhealthy and just getting by on the bare minimum and and never really taking charge and leadership over your life. And so it's sort of thing becomes soupy and swampy. And so you, so rowing with both oars in the water is you really want to achieve a partnership between the adult and the child. And so what that means, practically speaking, is suppose, you know, the inner adult says you need to go to the gym every day in order to get fit. Well, there better be something enjoyable about that. There needs to be something attractive. Like, you know, you need to kind of, 
you know, go there and perhaps not push yourself so hard that you hate going to the gym and, and maybe use the machines that you enjoy as opposed to the ones that you should use kind of. And you should really congratulate yourself and, and give yourself a lot of, a lot, a lot of pat on the back, like a lot of, a lot of appreciation and really love yourself and really, really, um, celebrate your successes regardless of how small they may seem to other people. And, and really, you know, praise yourself and cherish yourself the way you would a child who's just doing his best or her best. And so, and, and likewise, you know, if you have like, say, five days of the week when you're really on target and you're really like, you know, you're kind of really pushing yourself and doing your best to have good habits, make sure you have a day for yourself where you can kind of let loose and relax and do things that you really shouldn't do and things that you don't approve of. Um, cause that, that's how you create that really nice trusting relationship between yourself as an adult and a child. And that allows you to start moving forward and actually getting results instead of just trying and failing all the time. So, so that's a good primer. So really take that lesson and really kind of experiment with the relationship between the two, because the more, the more there can be a communion between the adult and the child the more just the better it feels like being yourself and it just doesn't feel like hell all the time. And, and you can really like appreciate yourself and really start seeing results and really start moving from A to B as I was mentioning. So there you go. So it's, you know, so number one, it's doable. Number two, it won't happen on its own. You have to do it. And number three is row with both oars in the boat. Cool. Also, I'm I'm kind of I'm speaking really quickly because I want to you know I I, uh, I I appreciate your time and I know that like just watching a video of like a person talking it's like there's a certain concentration and focus required too and I really I want to honor you by just kind of keeping this moving. So so I'll, I'll give you a quick summary of who I am and where all this is coming from. So I'm Brent and I've been coaching people at this point for about two years. Uh, doing these one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, which it kind of feels like it is right now. And, um, and what I do is I, uh, I, I'm, I have certain intuitive empathic gifts where like when I speak to people, I can really feel where a person is. I can feel how, they're, how they have unresolved emotion and unresolved areas of themselves that they don't look at and stay in somewhat of a denial of. And I'm also aware of language, like I'm also aware of what a person's internal dialogue is all the time, typically by just listening to their external dialogue and how they limit themselves and limit their possibilities with their language and with their beliefs and with their thinking. And this creates kind of a friction that creates a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression. And this can become very, very complicated and layered. Um, and, and sometimes people just never, ever resolve that. And it really bothers me. Because every person I know, every person, like, I really see deep purpose in them. Like, there's, there's a potential to blossom. And just as all flowers offer their fragrance to the world, so does every person have a gift and an offering to the world that if it's just nurtured and given enough space and appreciation and kind of like enough kind of um, given what it needs to blossom, then it will. And so... And so that's, that's what I do for people. Um, yeah, this, a lot of it, a lot of it comes from my own reading, uh, my own self. I went through very, very heavy depression myself, which you can see in other videos on my YouTube channel. I describe uh, very, very heavy depression as I was learning to release all of my old ideas of myself and old ideas of what I should be doing and, and to really start following my intuition and really starting to trust into my knowing of what I'm here to do and what I want to do. And, and that has become me helping other people out of similar depression as well. Um, so that, that, that's kind of me, that's me in a nutshell. Uh, and so, and so the coaching, so I, I want to, I want to kind of start to cap this off by telling you what it's like to be coached uh, by people and to be coached by me. And so it's, um, I want to start by telling you that it's a very special relationship that forms between a, a client and their coach because, because the coach kind of plays a number of different roles that kind of intermingle. So one, like suppose you were my client, I become your friend straight up. And then at the same time, I become your fan. I become one of your supporters. And at the same time, I become one of your confidants where 
you can come into these sessions and you can really be yourself and you can really show the aspects of yourself that you don't approve of and you don't need to be somebody or something else. You can just be yourself and you can come as you are. So you don't need to be on or you need to like, you know, be in a certain place or state in order to show up for session time. And, and so what happens is, you know, I, I work with people and, and the process is just about the same. It's like, okay, like let's get clear. Let's get really, really goddamn clear on where we're going and what it is that we're after. And, and what is it that's getting in the way? Is it, is it like, do we need to offer more action? Do we need to come up with a better strategy? Is there something that you're not looking at that we need to start looking at? And whatever it is, we just remove blocks and remove impediments. And then just over time, that transformation happens because there's nothing stopping it anymore. I, as much as possible, there's very little of myself that I add to the sessions. So much as just holding space and just removing whatever's not helpful and then maybe adding a helpful thing. And, uh, and that's enough because, because you've come into this earth and you've come into this life with everything that you need to become what it is you are to become. So there's nothing, there's nothing that I need to tell you so much as making sure that you're just not stopping the process. And that's, and that's, that's the, that's, I think a good accurate summary of being coached and being in a coaching relationship. And so finally, oh, we covered a lot of ground here, but I want to say you don't have to take my word for it because especially if you've made it all the way through this video, I, I, I really want to invite you to take me up on this offer for a free coaching session with me. So I have a link below this video, which is my Calendly page. So it's kind of a cool sort of link where you click through and you'll see my schedule of all of my times that I'm available. And it's actually uh, automatically adjusted for your own time zone. So you don't even need to worry about that. Just look at my calendar and just put book whatever time is good for you. And, um, and, then, and then get back to me with your, uh, with your Skype username or Facebook. Um, I think I may start using something else besides Skype, but Skype for now. And, and in this session, it's totally free, no strings attached, no obligations. We're just going to talk about strategy, talk about you. And I'm going to, I'm going to look at you and, and what's, what's been blocking you from manifesting your highest potential. And we'll come up with a plan to send you on your way. And we can have a conversation afterward about maybe working together on a weekly basis. And that is an option that you have if you wish. And maybe that would be cool. Or maybe it's not in the cards. Either way is fine. Uh, but either way, this is, uh, I, um, you are worth it. And you are not a waste of my time, if not. And, and you deserve this kind of attention. And you deserve support. And I believe in you already, even though I haven't met you yet. <sighs> okay. I think that's what I came here to say. So yeah, take me up on a free session. Um, sometimes, sometimes they fill up quickly and sometimes it's like, I'll be talking with somebody and I can't see them for another two weeks. So if you're feeling this, do it right now. Just click the link, get a session with me. We'll get in touch. We'll make it happen. It'll be awesome. Everybody loves it. You know, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but they're amazing sessions. We go really, really deep, even in just one session and uh, it's fun stuff. All right, that's it. Thank you. All the best. Take care.